and the captain expects we will be arriving on schedule. Please let the cabin attendants know if there is anything we can do to make your flight more enjoyable. I don't want enjoyable, I want successful. Did it ever occur to you that this trip might be more successful if we did things Sean's way? Maybe. Then why did you try ducking out on us and running off to Quebec all by yourself? I wasn't ducking out on you. I just knew you'd try to stop me. But I have to say, I was awfully glad that you showed up. How did you know I was out here anyway? Well, you told me that you were going to be in Anna's office cleaning things up, remember? Mm-hmm. Well, I called back there, and the only thing working in that office was the answering machine. How'd you know I was on this particular flight? Well, I figured that the only thing that would make you lie to me would be this trip to Quebec. I'm sorry. I just knew that you'd try to talk me out of it, and I knew Sean would try to talk me out of it. Well, there are very good reasons that Sean and I were trying to talk you out of this. This trip could be very dangerous. I have to do this. I have to find out what happened to Frisco. You know, the theme of my show today was going to be about cliches. You ever heard the one about curiosity killing the cat? Of course. Well, you don't have nine lives. I get your message. I know you saved my life once, and I may not be so lucky the next time. since this morning. Well, now you've reached me. We've got to make our move, and fast. Hey, I make the decisions. Well, you better make this one in a hurry. Unless I miss my guess, this Felicia Jones woman is on her way to Quebec right now. I've been waiting for your call. Donnelly? Is this Sean Donnelly? Yeah, it's me, Kenley. You know, you and, and your, your friend, Mrs. Jones, have caused a lot of problems for me. Oh, come on, Jimbo. That's the way you play the game. If you don't learn how to protect your back, better get out of the business. Just feel glad that all they did was demote you, huh? We gotta talk. All right, talk. Now and here. No, no, no. Not over the phone. It's too dangerous. Look, Kinley, there is a very, very special young lady involved here. And her life is at stake. Yeah, I already told her too much. I agree, you did. But now you may as well go all the way. What have you got to lose? You're already on the Bureau's bad boy list. You want to be on mine, too? Come on, now. You called me. What do you want? Kinley, I know you're there. I can hear you sweating. All right. Not over the phone. I'll meet you in DuPont Park in 20 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain requests that you fasten your seatbelts and return your seats to their upright position as we begin our approach to landing in Quebec. You know, with Sean and Washington and Anna having so many problems with Duke, I feel kind of guilty about leaving the office. But not very. What do you mean, not very? Not very guilty. That's not fair. Uh, but is it true? Well, I do feel guilty, but not too guilty to stay home, I guess. Mm. How about guilty enough to let me find you a safe place to stay while I go to this CNL Bell shop by myself this afternoon? Not a chance. Nothing is going to stop me. Nobody. Not guilt, not even fear. Fear? <sighs> well, yeah, it was easy getting on this plane, but now I'm getting scared to death. Okay, then. What do you say we take the next flight home? Nice try, but not a chance. I'm not leaving this place until I find out what happened to Frisco. I think we fix the problem, n'est-ce pas? The jewel? It is loose. Emperor, not loose. You leave avec moi. The ring, pick up, the mess. Tomorrow, no? 
Will, will it be safe? It's an antique. Oh, may we safe, of course. I give you a seat. You think it's okay to leave it here overnight? It's a safe neighborhood. Très bien. Demain dans le matin. How are you sent in the morning? Voilà. Thank you. Merci. Au revoir. Un moment, s'il vous plaît. Mon Dieu, qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Do you mind stepping in the back room, please? Money. It's not a robbery. We don't want your money. Just step in the back room. No stealing. Tu ne comprends pas. Just go. Monsieur, I do not understand. Move it. The money. Go. Move it. Monsieur, I go. Sorry, sir. Can you help me? The oh. baby's diaper, you know. Oh, sure. Can you hold the doll while I change it? He's uh, big, but he's not mean or anything. <laughs> well, that's all right. Take your time. Hey. Hey, you are a cute dog. Look at you. Look at you. You're a toughie, too, aren't you? Huh. <laughs> hey. 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 Easy, hey. Easy, easy, if boy. you can't handle that dog, why don't you get a poodle? Hey, why don't you just put a leash on your mouth, huh? Easy, boy, easy. Uh, ma'am? Ma'am, your dog. Ma'am? Easy, boy, easy. Went yeah. a little overboard with your disguise, did he? Oh, come on, the dog's not mine. The lady with a baby asked me to watch him for her. Yeah, so where's the lady? Well, she, she seems to have wandered off, that's all. Yeah, or else you got made, Donnelly. This smells like a trap to me. Hey, come on, don't get paranoid on me, all right? Look, I think I better get going. Will you just wait here for a minute, okay? Just wait here. Uh, ma'am? Ma'am, oh, there you are. He didn't give you any trouble, did he? Oh, no, no, that's terrific oh, dog. Thank you so much. He hates it when I have to tie him up. Oh, you're welcome, yeah. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, here, you need some help? Come on. Here you go. Come on. This is terrific, really terrific. Come on. Kinley, you are chicken. Maybe, I don't know, he could have gone to a late lunch, ran some errands or something. It looks kind of like a one-man operation. Well, he'll be back. We'll just have to wait then. On the other hand, it might be open only half days or something. We could be here all night. Let's just come back tomorrow morning when we know he's... No, 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 no. I'm not coming back tomorrow. You can go to the park and sit if you want. I'll wait here alone. Hey, wait a minute. I'm on your team, remember? I'm not the enemy. I'm sorry, we can just go somewhere and kill some time if you like. Okay, great. Let's go grab a bite to eat. Besides, we need to find a place to stay tonight, okay? If you promise we'll come back today. I promise. Come on. Okay. Ah, I swear! I swear! I'll ask you again, do you remember this man? No, I told you. This man I do not know. Refresh his memory. Ah, ah, I swear! I, I swear! Ah, 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 ah. Ease up on him. Go get a music box. It is not our intention to harm you, and I do not like to inflict pain. But there is certain information we must know. If you have it, you will tell us. If you do not, then I'm sorry to tell you we must know that as well. No matter how much pain it causes you, This music box and the ones you you have here, do you make them here? No, only sell. Then where do you get them? They ship them to me. Who manufactures these? A company called C.N. Albel, same as this place. And, and where is this C.N. Albel company? I don't know. They ship them, I sell them. 
No, 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 I'm telling the truth to you. I talk to them only by telephone. Study this sketch. It's similar to the boxes you sell here. How is it different? How can I tell from this? Look at it. Look at it carefully. Study it very carefully. I see nothing. The knob. We, in the picture, there is no knob. No knob. You've done well, thank you. For your trouble, and a reminder, you tell no one what happened here today. If you tell anybody anything, we'll be back, not only to take the money, but to take your life as well. I suggest you remain closed for the rest of the day. Checked out the woman with the dog. It's no setup. Let's talk. So were you surprised to hear from me? Uh, no, not when you told me you're still in Washington. What does that mean? Well, it's a surefire tip that you've got information needed at higher levels. Yeah, I've still got some information that, that makes me useful, yeah. And some of the agents are still contacting me. They've been so deep undercover that they, uh, they don't know what's happened. Tell me something, Kinley. What do you know about this fake interrogation the Bureau put Felicia and me through right after we broke into your office? I had my own problems with the Bureau. I don't know what happened to you. What do you know about the music box? The music box uh, was made by a CN Albull for uh, Frisco. What for? Hey, look, we don't have time to talk about that. You, you and Felicia are in serious je jeopardy here. Well, she has been in jeopardy ever since she laid eyes on LeBlanc. There's something that, that you ought to know about someone. Oh, come on, man. Don't stop now. Tell me, what is it? Can we? Let's not draw this thing out, huh? Come on, Ken. Open at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, and we'll just come back. Now we can go find a place to spend the night. Well, there must be something else we can do today. Like what? Well, we could try to find the explosion site where Frisco was last seen. Now, the only problem with that is that we're not exactly sure when or where the explosion occurred. <laughs> we must be able to get some information somehow. Okay, okay. Um, we'll go to the library, look through some old newspapers, see if we can find a story written about the explosion. I'm sure somebody must have picked it up. Then once we have an idea of the time and the place, we'll go to the police. Okay? Okay, that's fine. All right.
just remember, old man, not a word about our visit to anybody. Good. Sure is closed, but it'll be open tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Yeah, and we'll be waiting.